Good morning guys, welcome to Vlogmas Day 7. Seven. There it is. Oh, it's broke. Let's see. I believe it was an elf. I believe. Yeah. Yep, it was an elf. Kind of see his face. Hmm. I just want some Christmas bedding, guys. And I'm not finding it. Mm. It just throws. Trying to find like Christmassy sheets and stuff, and the only thing I'm coming across are like throws. So I don't know. I'm going to head to another store really quick um, to check on some other items, and we'll see if they have them. It's rather frustrating. Hi guys, um, okay, I'm sitting down now to start working on some Christmas cards and watching Home Alone um, while I fill them out. So, yeah, I'm going to do that. Get my Christmas cards done. 
yeah, there's quite a few. I've got a little pile going here. I've got these, which I think are really, really cute. Um, these are kind of Dickens Christmas Carol Scrooge-like. I think those are cute. And I like these too. And then, of course, I've made some myself where I've doodled the cards and yeah so okay Hey guys, I was sitting here working on the Christmas cards and I just kept thinking about um, something and I uh, thought I'd take a minute and talk to you about it. Um, I had a, um, a message, a uh, direct message or, or whatever on our Facebook page and I thought I would just address it. it it's not a bunch of people and, and the person who asked the question, um, they weren't being mean or anything, they were just curious. Um, because I, I have an extreme, uh, anxiety disorder and for a long time, my old doctor had me on some medication that was to help with depression and she said that it also would help with my anxiety. Um, it didn't really and, um, she moved offices to another town so... I have a new doctor, and um, she prescribed me a pill that helps with my anxiety. Um, so I'm doing a lot better. I, I still have moments that I'm working through um, where I get very anxious, um, mainly around a lot of people, like in stores and stuff when it's really crowded, or people stop in the middle of shopping aisles to have conversations, which stresses me out beyond belief um but the question was how can how am i able to put myself out there on uh youtube and stuff like that if i have this anxiety um um well i do have anxiety uh doctor confirmed um like I said, meds are helping with it but the difference with youtube and one of the great things about youtube is literally right now I'm the only one home. Everybody else is at work, um, but those are my close circle of friends and family that I'm around all the time anyway. Um, so I'm really just sitting in our living room talking to myself or to you guys, but I'm I'm by myself just talking to a camera. So there really is no stress for me in that and. It's not that I it's not that I get stressed out by talking in front of people because I've had to do that a lot before. Um so I'm okay with that. It's just I think it's different things. One of them is feeling like I, I can't move, so like uh, shopping aisles or checkout aisles at grocery stores when there's a ton of people and I'm sort of stuck in the middle. Um, some confrontation stresses me out. Um, there's just lots of different things that stress me out, but this, this isn't one of them. Um, sometimes I have no explanation to why I'm stressed out. Sometimes I can wake up and be extremely uh, anxious and 
bawling my eyes out and nobody including me knows what's wrong and I just I at those times I've learned and the people around me have learned I've just got to work through them sometimes talking helps sometimes it doesn't sometimes I need to just be left alone um, but there's lots of different things um, that I go through I mean if you guys have anxiety you know what I'm talking about um, it's harder to understand if you don't have it um, but I think the people around me are starting to understand um, they are being much more helpful um, but it really is difficult for someone who doesn't have it to understand um, that and there's so many different versions of it or um, it, it's basically a per it's like a thumbprint in a weird way it, it's it's been created by things you've gone through and how you've been raised, um, traumatic things in your life. So it really does affect each person differently. Um, I have a couple friends who also have it um, that don't live here. Um, and they know that we share some of the same anxiety aspects, but they're different too. Um, so, yeah. But that that's how I'm able to do this is because it's not this isn't making me feel closed in or triggering any of the, any of the millions of other things that um, cause my anxiety so yeah but yeah and it's Christmas you guys and that's another thing too and um, any family who knows I mean my mom died a long long time ago at Christmas uh, well, right before Christmas, December 10th, and I was nine years old, and I, I just remember seeing the Christmas presents she had for me that were still under the tree and having difficulty with that, and for a long time, I had, I had, a, I had mixed feelings about Christmas, but I don't know. Christmas is, is one of my, it is my favorite holiday, mainly because I love everything about it. The magic of it, the giving, um, the coming together, having a good time, the magical decorations. Um, one of my favorite Christmas gifts, and something I've told all of my friends who worry about what to get me for Christmas. For me, the best Christmas gift that I can get from them is watching them open the presents that I got them and their faces and how it how it makes them feel because I, I'm I'm fairly decent at this Christmas thing um, I shop pretty much year round because I don't limit myself just to this time of year because I miss, you would miss out on all the sales and all the good purchases and, and amazing stuff throughout the year and because I pay attention so much to people around me and, and their likes and dislikes and needs and, and wants and things like that I'm able to work on that all year round and then by the time you know December comes along I can pretty much sit back relax and enjoy the season and honestly for me too it the entire yearly process, people will be like, oh my gosh, I can't imagine doing that all year long. But I, you really don't notice it. It's just something I do, and it doesn't make any of it stressful. I mean, the worst part about it is finding somewhere to put everything until December. That That's the worst part about it. Because you get all kinds of sales. I mean, if you guys go back to one of my um, shopping halls where I got a ton of stuff, for like a hundred bucks, way back like maybe summer, uh, somewhere in the summer, and that's because I I got some sales and some pretty good deals. So that's why I do that, and it just it makes the entire thing so much more fun, so much more stress free. And again, <clears throat> with someone with anxiety, I try really hard to have as to create as little stress as possible for myself because um, you know like I tell my friends who uh, agree with me that life is already so full of crap why create any more drama purposely um, 
and we, we say that a lot because sometimes around us, um, people, there are people who tend to like to create drama if there isn't any. Um, and to me, that's just crazy because, again, life is already full of so much stuff that we're all trying to survive and get through and see the next day that why do that to yourself? So, I don't know. Okay, sorry, enough about all that. Uh, I just wanted to talk about that for a minute. So, yeah. I'll go. But let Wait, us do it. Then. We'll call it even on last night. No deal. These are your John. Mm -hmm. Won't tell you what they are though. How would you make this work? Up in the upper part of the closet. This one's Ooh, cool is. wrapping paper. And then you can actually slide cut. Go to hell. Cute. They're three dollars a roll, and I've wrapped those, those two little things, and this so far. I still have quite a bit left. And believe it or not, I got them from Walmart. Awesome. Shop. I just did all my hundreds of. Christmas cards. No charger. Okay. Hi. I'm due day seven of the advent calendar. Sorry if I seem kind of down. I just got off of work and I'm a little tired. Why? Why do they call Susan lazy? Oh. I don't know. Why do they call Susan lazy? Oh, it's on the top. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. I like, I like it. Yeah. What? Okay, guys. I'm going to end Vlogmas Day 7 here. I know today wasn't uh, very exciting. Um, I probably say that after every single one. But, um, so please like, subscribe, please share. Uh, let other people know about our vlogmas. Um, and we will all see you tomorrow. Good night.